success for the great 1971 and that being part of catalyzing Chicago to the next, next level as a startup. What, what, what does the future look like to you? What does success look like to you? Well, so I had uh, a non-lunch today with Brian Johnson, uh, which is great because I don't eat lunch. Uh, and he had already eaten lunch, so that worked out really well. Uh, and Brian Johnson, if you don't know, is the guy, uh, you know, Ranger, he was just acquired for right here? 850 million or whatever it was. I think it's, I think you do the earn out of close to a million. Yeah. So anyway, um, so we had this conversation because I, uh, you know, I asked him what he's doing now. He left Ranger day-to-day -day operations almost two years ago. So he went to Washington and he had a thought about changing and revolutionizing government after eight or nine months, gave up on that. Uh, and uh, he's now gone to San Francisco and he's building an innovation hub uh, with, really? with a bunch of really smart people to work on AI and a bunch of other things. Right. So, but, you know, Rom has this dream that it's too bad that Braintree didn't buy PayPal and it's too bad we don't have like a multi-billion dollar exit. You know, I, I think what was interesting about him is he said he wanted to make a lot of money by the time 30s, so he made a lot of money back then, 34, whatever it was. And then he said he wanted to do things to change the world. And so, you know, I I think success in Chicago is a lot of 100 to 200 million dollar businesses that do well, that make a lot of money, maybe they get sold. Um, I'm not, you know, so focused on some gigantic new single business because that's that's not the model that makes sense for our city. We have so many of these industries where you can have five and ten businesses doing dollars and growing, you know, and being very healthy. And that, that opens the possibility that you can have people going on and doing subsequent things and everything else. So to me, you know, I, I think that the goal is going to be to uh, see the economy grow, to attack not just what we're doing here in 1871, but I think ed tech and med tech and, you know, basically fintech and, you know, this morning Mike and I were talking about <coughs> travel tech and food tech, you know, Mark Schulman said, why don't we have a food incubator and Femtech, you know, why don't we have a, a different thing for women? I mean, I think all of these are, you know, significant opportunities, and there's just so much on our plate that success to me just is the continued growth along all these parameters, but, you know, intelligently enough, you know, planned so that we don't end up a mile wide.